Uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome once again to the Rajas Kakasungura YouTube channel. A uh, big thank you to each and every one of you for your continued support. We are really growing. Yesterday I missed you because uh, I was completely held up and I couldn't even do an audio. But I thank God I've woken up today. It's a Sunday here in East Africa and I hope wherever you are, you have woken up well. Um, the international monetary fund, it's monetary or monetary, but I think it's monetary fund, the, the IMF, has uh, told William Ruto to rethink the new environmental tax to avoid economic fallout. I want to be very sincere with you that uh, during the process of um, impeaching the deputy president regarding the shower, there are so many proposals that were made, but because the focus of the media and us and even Kenyans was uh, focusing on the impeachment, we could not really notice that uh, some regulations have been brought up and uh, they were about to be imposed, and some, in fact, were imposed. It is during regard this impeachment that the 2023 finance bill was declared constitutional by the courts. But we could really feel the impact because all the eyes were on regard the Gashawa's impeachment. We want our members of parliament the same speed, as Gashawa said yesterday, the same speed they applied on processing Gashawa's impeachment is the same speed that we want them to process things that affect us, the ordinary Kenyans. It is evident that if members of parliament decide they can rescue Kenya within a night, the way they did, to regard the Gashawa. Because I remember on the evening that the courts gave a nod to Kendiki swearing in, several things happened. Salem Davadi was immediately appointed the acting in TSS. He immediately assumed the office of the interior CS. He released three Gasset notices. One is setting the, 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 the swearing in of Kindiki. Two gazetting the holiday. Three gazetting the appointment of the assumption of the office committee. The committee was appointed the very same night. It met the very same night. The ground at cases to swear in Kindiki was prepared the very same night. Visitors were invited the very same night. So, it is, it is so evident that if our politicians decide to rescue Kenya, they can do it in a night if they decide to do so. So, the IMF has warned William Ruto that the government might face consequences of enacting a new environmental tax proposal that was put last month in October when we were concentrating on regard this impeachment, that is when they came up with this one so that the Kenyans cannot notice. The Minister of Environment that is headed by Aden Duale is proposing a new environmental restoration levy on all imported finished products. Finished means those products that are not going to be assembled in Kenya, they come finished. For example, kama nigari unaleta, inakuja ikiwa full. Ikifika Kenya, ni kuendesha tu. Kama nisimu, ikifika Kenya, ni kuitumia tu. There are those ones which una import spare parts, you come to assemble in Kenya. So this levy is going to apply 
on those products that are finished zile zinakuja zikiwa finished kila kitu according to the IMF it is advising Ruto that his government must be mindful of introducing such levies and steer clear of unintended consequences of conducting upfront an economic impact assessment before considering enacting the tax levy into law so as we speak there is no public participation that has been done on the same this is where william ruto always gets it wrong this is why he gets it wrong he is forcing some levies down our throat he wants us to swallow he doesn't want to know the effect to traders but allow me to say this i am not being tribal but allow me to say this watu wa murima ni wafanya biashara a number of them duka nyingi za masimu ni za wakikuyu this is not tribalism but allow me to state facts wafanya biashara wengi wa magari ni watu ya murima magari ya kuuza and if you are not careful if you are not careful some taxes are meant to cripple your businesses uzuri wangu kaka ni kuambia niliona kashawa nikamwambia kashawa unaingia serikali pira nyumba ikinyesha my friend utanyeshewa leo kashawa ananyeshewa madhira hana chama hana serikali hana mrengo ako tu <laughs> so Ladies and gentlemen IMF is advising Ruto that the government must do its due diligence assessment on exports potential spillovers to trading partners inflation and public finance before imposing the new levy the IMF wonder about the possibility of multiple taxation along the value chain it has wonder about the tax rates and the risk of overestimating associated yields by considering demand elasticity and administrative and compliance costs including the feasibility of monitoring and enforcement ladies and gentlemen Sisi tuko kwa shida. We in problems but as we stand it is now becoming very easy very easy if we so decide to impeach William Ruto himself. So easy. Anyway. This is possible because we now have a potential presidential candidate. called kidure kindiki tutawatuma hivyo tu tunawasukuma nje tukimbichi ruto aende kindiki asonge juu ndiki akiingia tumtume nyumbani hivyo tu tunawasongesha until we finish all those dictators who are talking wakwende tuanze na serikali mpya god bless you ladies and gentlemen see you in the next episode asante sana